everybody, and uh, welcome to another Dex Mugs and D6 Rolls. Today I'm actually going to be joined by uh, one of our magic community. His name is Dan. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. We can hear each other, which is always a good start. Yes. How's it going, sir? It is going very well. Yourself? I'm doing all right, thank you. Just thought I'd come and chill in the garden for a bit. It's come a common thing with you in these videos. <laughs> Brew, it's garden. The nicest place to do it. Portrait <laughs> views. I'd say it's better. Well, would you like me to do the other way around? <laughs> there we go. Does that make life easier? <laughs> it, I, was, I was certainly less triggered. No, um. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you keeping? Uh, I'm, I'm keeping very well. Uh, we've been I said, we're working most of this bloody lockdown, so it's like... Yeah, it's, I've been actually been keeping myself busy. That's it, yeah. It's, um, it's hard when uh, the job must carry on going, even though times are crazy. Yes, very true. But I'm off for like a week now, so it's like, yes... Freedom. Oh, Chance to get some games going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what have you have been doing? Have you had time for any hobbies or any games or anything? Um, I have. I have like um because the days I've been working, I usually work like ten hours, but I've been working eight hours uh, over five days. So I've actually had a bit more time in the evening. So I've been working all right. I'm doing. I feel like my camera's really far off to one side, isn't it? Um, <laughs> Don't worry, mine's not in the best place. Um. But is that, and I'll move you. I'll move your face over to that screen. That might be a bit better in terms of that's better. <laughs> Multiple screens. Um, yes. So it's like, yeah, I've been, I've been going. We're going through a. Um, we're doing like lots of Blood Bowl because it's on obviously on PC, isn't it? So it's like um, doing lots of Blood Bowl. Yeah. Playing lots, lots of Blood Bowl two, uh, with um, all the like, we've got like a league set up between loads of guys in Derby and uh, around so it's like it's been going all right we've had like little like weekend sessions like resurrection tournaments that kind of thing so I can talk about that in that in the thing so I can get more people on it because well it would take always take more people uh, <laughs> if, you've, well, if, you've if, ever... uh, if anybody if anybody does want to get involved in that where's the best place to get hold of it and uh, to get hold of it um, there's a uh, the Facebook um, group called calamitous casual <laughs> okay well, what I'll do then, I'll get you to send me a link and we'll yeah. attach it to the bottom of the video and then people can come along and join in with it. Yeah, well, because we've got like, um, we run a league between us at the moment. We just started the new season, so it's like, that will take about 10 weeks to finish. That's going to take a while, but there's always yeah. people are always hosting stuff at like weekends. Like, they've got, they've got, they've got like a lineman, they call it a lineman ladder, so it's like only lineman, but it's a ladder okay. game, so you can just like, obviously just ask anyone who won a game and they can just come along and just do it and it's just, that kind of thing. Uh, they're doing lots of um, cripple cups as well. They're quite cool. So it's like no re rolls, no no apoths. Just go. Just um, in. You have to deal with the consequences. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Literally, and we've had many, 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 many a thing. And we also get like videos of um one that one the guy the main guy who runs it does a what he, what he calls smash of the day. Put on match of the day. <laughs> Just good, good runs through the week's games. Another guy does a um, Dice of the Week segment where it's like he, he takes like clips from all the streams that we put together and um, just puts the like the hilarious dice rolls in a row. One such example would be the f the first block that someone made um, yesterday, yeah. where you play. How much blue ball have you played? A bit. Um, I've dabbled a little bit with it, only yeah. on the miniatures. I've never yeah, played yeah. it online. Well, you know the you know, but you you know what both downs do, don't you? Where like tackle and defender go down at the same time. Yeah. Literally, first first dice, first block. It was two. It was a two die form, so it, it rolled two two both downs. Didn't have block. Accepted it, took it. His flesh golem died instantly. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> and you just you just, you, oh just you heard his salt level go from zero to like eighty real quick. You just like, <laughs> <laughs> you just made it's motherfuck. <laughs> enough salt to restock McDonald's when they reopen. Definitely. Definitely, <laughs> it was horrendous. But it, it's Fantastic. always fun because it's like because usually we've got like a Discord for it, and it's like it could be like seven to eight people in at the time. We're all watching the same game, same time, making comments and stuff. And then shit like that goes in. It's here like seven eight people, seven or eight people go, oh, oh, oh dear, <laughs> oh dear. Be between that and between between that and laughing their heads off. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, that does sound like fun though. Um, 
I'm assuming you've also uh, been dabbling with some magic stuff. Yes, um, I've, I've not. I've only been playing Arena mostly because that's the only sort of thing we've got at the moment. Um, yeah. There's another program I use called Cockatrice, uh, which I use with one of my mates. Uh, obviously, it's only on PC, so it's also the sadly the PC list people are a bit stuck with that. Sorry, um, but um, I've, I, ha- I have made Lavinia the. The mistress it is, and uh, I plan to make people cry with her. <laughs> <laughs> so before we uh, we go into Lavinia and how she'll make people cry, uh, yeah. for anybody who is a total beginner and doesn't have a clue what it is, what is Magic the Gathering? Uh, Magic the Gathering itself, it's um, it's slow. Well, it's a card-based game. Uh, you, usually your standard formats between two players start at 20 life. The idea is just to get it down to zero life or win in any other fashion. But there's um, so many different ways you can do it. It's such an old game um, that... It's, 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 there's, there's too many ways to think about to like potentially win, but you basically the idea is you're meant to be two wizards or witches or whatever you want to call them. You just duke it out, you just sing spells, sing creatures, sing things at each other in order to win, basically. But it can get so like in in like integrated and this this kind of thing that it can cause like um. It, it, it creates such an interesting game. Like if you um, ever go into like look into like the actual metas of it and this and that and the other, it basically boils down to it's all, it's almost a sport at this point. It's yeah. like it's almost like um, you might as well call it. Um, it well, you, well, people have got like esports. You obviously got you got Counter Strike. You've got Rainbow Six. You've got hey, you got Magic Arena on as an esport now. Just watch Magic Arena for two minutes. It's the same thing, but with but with cards. <laughs> it's basically yeah, that's it. yeah. It's um, it's actually really, really um. It, I've been I've been playing it. What? How long have I been playing it now? About five years. And yes, they could they may call it cardboard crack, but yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> it, it's it's a fun game. Yeah, I um, I I last played it before we opened DJ. I think I played it back at the top end of the nineties. <laughs> Um, and I built a mono black deck that was basically made up of 1-1 creatures that just swarmed the battlefield and then my ah. biggest downfall was when my mate built a deck that had caltrops in it ah, so uh, that that the game. Cal drops, <laughs> yeah 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 that'll do it yeah, just yeah. stopped you dead so, oh, yeah, I, I can't yeah. go anywhere <laughs> <laughs> And that kind of becomes my go-to story now. Whenever I talk to people about what how Magic the Gathering works, it's like, well, you can think of it in lots of different ways. You sling spells at each other, or you can just totally hoard the battlefield with creatures until someone goes, no. <laughs> yeah, and, I don't, and that's entirely what Lavinia does, in fairness. Like, Lavinia, this Lavinia deck I built is a bit... There you go then, talk us through Lavinia then. Press it right, okay. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to... Uh, hopefully, this hopefully assist the situation. Is this going to work on? It's not going to work probably like that, is it? I'm going to. Can I make these icons bigger? Excuse, excuse me. Um, I can't. It's fine. I'm going to share my screen and just show you what I've got. Go for it. So, so here we have Lavinia. This is this is the commander, as it were, a commander. Like I say, for the wonderful people out there, is another is a different kind of format. Uh, quite casual, quite open. In what cards you can use, there are some that are banned naturally because some are just busted in this format. But it's usually multiplayer, so it usually, usually involves like four, uh, at least four people. It can involve three, depends how you go about it. But Lavinia in particular, she's got a little, she, she's quite, she's oppressive. She just tells, if someone wants to do something, she says no. That's it. <laughs> That's as simple as it goes. It's just like, no, you're not doing it. You're a naughty, naughty boy. Um, so, Title, what it reads is, it says, each opponent can't cast non-creature spells with converted mana cost greater than the number of lands uh, that player controls. Now, in Magic, it's you, you, you use land as a, as a main source of, uh, of mana, your ability to cast spells. Yeah. But there are things called, the, what are like, curved, like known um, towards the um, general people as mana rocks. They, 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 like, you, could, you could usually spend two or three mana to cast them, but then you can tap them for extra mana themselves, but they do not class as land. They are something separate. So if you do have all these mana rocks, with her, you can't really use the mana rocks that much. It, so it, it limits like the top end scale of what they can actually cast. Like They can't cast anything massive because it just won't let them. Yeah. Um, 
And then the other one is, whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast it, counter that spell. Now that, what that basically reads as is, there are some, thing, there are some cards that exist that say you may cast a spell without paying the mana cost in the, like, the top right corner there. That base, the Dravinia just says no to that. It just says, no, if you, you have to pay your money. If you don't pay your money, you're a naughty boy, and it, gets, and it gets stopped. Simple as that. Now, there are cards in this deck that exist that exploit that in an insane little fashion. For example, we have, let me see if we can quickly find it, cost six, this one, Knowledge Pool. This is a bit complicated, but it has this ability called Imprint, which isn't really the biggest problem of it. Well, it will skip over that just for the sake of ease. But it is a little bit. Whenever a player casts a spell for his other hand, that player exiles that spell. If the player does, he or she may cast another uh, non-land card exiled with knowledge pool without paying that card's mana cost. Now that bit there, that paying that card's mana cost. Because what Lavinia says, says no to that, then you just cast your spell, it goes into the knowledge pool and you get nothing out of it. It just disappears into the ether. Yeah. It just <laughs> slightly abuses it. Same thing with Omen Machine on the on the far end here. Um, so players can't draw cards. That's always a bit of a bummer for most people. But yeah, at the beginning of each player's draw step, that play instead that will play exile top card that his or her library. If it's a land card, put it on the battlefield. That's fine. Uh, otherwise, that player casts it without paying its mana cost if able. <laughs> Again, they're not really able. It just sort of goes, I can't cast this, so they can play land. Yeah. But they can't draw anything else. That's it. They're just sort of stuck there, not doing anything. So anything they try and cast, we'll just say no to it. Um, there are a bunch of other ones as well that make it a little... Uh, there's, there's a few tutors in there that just go in and search for these two these two cards of utter filth. Um, so all the bits as well. Things like mind lock orbs. So just, players can't search their libraries. Um, Khan the Great Creator, those mana rocks I talked about. Khan, Khan the Great Creator has a line that says activated abilities of artifacts your opponents can't, can't be activated. So, but it, because how the mana rocks work, if you activate them to get mana out of them, that is classed as an activated ability. That Khan says no. You cannot do that. You're not allowed to use them. So it turns off your mana rocks as well. So have fun with that. Uh, <laughs> um, so all these cards are basically in your deck now. They are currently in the deck. Um, and uh, in, These, they're in a deck that you are designed to make people cry. <laughs> yes, I've designed it to make people cry. It's, I've even put them in, um, say, in sky blue sleeves because it's a blue and white deck. Um, yeah. But there are some like absolutely foul little cards, and th this evil little wench, oh god, that's really reflective, is the reason why. And she, it just abuses her ability so hard. Um, but it's it's still it's still a work in progress. It still has some manner issues. Um, but I don't want to reveal too much about it in case, like, you know, any of that, yeah. any of that other lot are watching. Any of the other lot are watching. Yeah. They, they, they know about the knowledge machine, not uh, knowledge machine, open machine, and knowledge pool sort of thing. They know about that, but there are no other bits in there. But there, uh, yes, it's. Um, I, I would say I feel guilty. But with how the rest of the guys play at the shop, I don't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm just going to make you all upset. Yes, <laughs> I think you're all very upset. Yeah, me sitting my tea, just like, yes, deal with it. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Um, so obviously we've got the new set coming out, Ikoria. Yes, Ikoria. That is, I'm going to stop the show on that one. Um, Ikoria just looks like an absolutely bonkers set i mean christ on a bike it's based on it's 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 based on just giant creatures of doom and death i mean um let's have what a, do you want I'm not, i mean what more do you want um let's have a one of my i you know what, i'm going to share my screen again because i i'm a master of zoom you really are i'm impressed you're making my so, previous video look terrible so that, <laughs> they're looking at these creatures those mana costs in, in are insane looking yep. at them but some of them look so wonderful one of i think one, probably my favorite card so far is oh god it's actually really difficult to honestly it's this it's this one this ruinous ultimatum so it's it, I, I love that the ultimatums are back we've been waiting for the other like other side of the ultimatums for a while like we've had like um uh what was it the i've got one of the grixis one is now off the top of my head but we've had like one 
side of the All Matons. Now this is the other side. Until how many? God knows how many years later. Yeah. Um, but destroy all non <laughs> destroy all non land permanents your opponents control. That's just like in a commander game in particular. That is just raising the middle finger and going have a nice day. Because it just yeah, pretty much erases everything <laughs> apart from you know, just, most board most board wipes are like you know like all four sided. They like, can actually like they ruin your stuff as well as the opponents. But the only card that did before this um, ruinous automaton that sort of did that was uh, in Garrick's Wake, and even then that was only creatures and pl- planeswalkers. This is just everything your opponents control. Yeah. This is I mean it's like one two. It costs one two three four five. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. It costs seven mana. The only one, only th- other thing that has a similar effect to this that costs seven mana is an overloaded Cyclonic Rift. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure Cyclonic Rift is seven mana. It's overloaded. I'll double check. Um, but the, but even then, that only returns all their non-land permits to their hand. And yes, and it is instant speed. Okay, but if you can destroy them instead, so they're not back in the hand. They're yeah. just in the graveyard. Yeah, that's it. Um, give, them, give them a choice. Which would you rather do? Yeah. <laughs> give them a chance to come again. At least they can, can replay the stuff. Yeah, but there's um, I mean, other ones that exist. Um, yeah, you know, speaking of which, Cyclone Rift, there it is. Yeah, seven, seven on the overload. Yeah. So it's just like. It's it's so. In, it, uh, so but it's fan, I just think that's fantastic. And then it's. Let's see, that's the, that's the closest. I mean, look, look at that. Destroy all non land permanent your opponent's control. This is so much more powerful than the last set of automatons because you look at a violent automaton, the old one from Alara, destroy three target permanents. Fair enough, yes, you can target land, but three target permanents, which could be three land or everything else. Yeah. In one fell swoop. So <laughs> it's, it's mad, like, <laughs> It's holy power creep, Batman. It's like. <laughs> it's instead, then some of the other ones are. Some of the other cards are like insanely cool. Like I do like um these. I'm so glad they brought mutate into it. Yeah. I mean, mutate the obviously the original mutate was only was in an unset. It was un um un was it, no, unhinged. I want to say unhinged. Was that the latest one? No. Um, Oh, unstable was the reason. Unstable, one. that's one. But yeah, unstable. And then we had, like, unsanctioned, but we don't really talk about that one. Um, but yeah, un- uh, unstable, where they brought mutate into it. I never thought just combining the cards was actually really cool. Just put them next to each other, and you end up with a fish dog. It's like it's, that was brilliant. And then, but that, yeah. Now that, like, yeah, now they've actually sort of brought it and molded it a little bit, changed it a little bit to like actually build into. Like the creatures themselves, like it's ridiculous, and then like we've got like, extra abilities on top, like when the creature mutates. It's just like this is this, if anything, is what I think wizards wanted meld to be. Yeah, because if, if any like magic players listening, obviously meld was combining two cards, flipping them, and turning them into one. Um, Brizella, the, the big old drowsy tentacle yeah, horror was, doom um, creature. Eldritch Moon, wasn't it, that introduced yeah, yeah. all that? Yeah, that was Mel, so it was actually two cards sort of flipping themselves and joining into one basically oversized card, but this is another way of doing it, and I'm actually really fond of it. I do want to see Meld back, though. I do want to see Meld come back, because that was... They only brought out, what, two cards that did it? Oh, sorry, four cards that melded into two cards. Yeah, there was the um, there was the Garrison. And, and Brizella. And Brizella. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, there was nothing else. They said Westvale Abbey, but Westvale Abbey was just a flip card, wasn't it? Yeah, it just turned into a, oh, it's a horrible creature of doom. Um, <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mandal. Um, but yeah, no, that was. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm really looking forward to this set because I would love to play with some of these, um, um, some of these like, mutate mechanics. Um, I've got other like, other commander decks that would benefit from some of these. I mean that the that's another one, eerie ultimatum. Yeah. So I've got a uh, got a like a Muldrotha deck that will probably benefit from that greatly. Any number of permanent cards with different names we go into library. It's commander. They all have different names. <laughs> that's my whole graveyard. That's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> all that. <laughs> <laughs> that's my whole graveyard. Wap. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's looking like it's going to be a really fun set. 
definitely. And, uh, um, cheap plug alert, it's also available to order from our website. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> cheap plug completed. <laughs> um, but, oh. uh, so, thinking back to, uh, obviously, you've played Magic for the past five years. You yeah. play Commander, which is a format which tends to cover a whole span of different sets that are released over the course of Magic's history. Yes. Um, if you could only play one commander or just from a single set, what would it be and why? One, com- one commander from a single from one single you set? You could only ever build one deck with one or commander, your set. dream commander. So if so money was no object, but you couldn't so, play so any other. Restricted, a set restricted commander. Or is that, is that is a set restricted It would either commander? be... It could either be you can only ever build a, a deck from a particular set, so it's going yeah. back to your dream set, or yeah. if you could only play one commander for the rest of your life, but it, money was no object, it could be any, commander including ones that aren't allowed anymore. Oh, one commander that's for the, for the rest of my life. I, honestly, I'll probably go with the set question because it would cost an absolute bloody fortune. But... <laughs> It would probably be if I could build a deck out of the. Actually, you know what? It, 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 is, is he banning's no object? Is he assuming there's like, no object? Emrakul the Aeon's Tornament. Emrakul and the whole set inside it because that would be <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> just just uh, having just, just Eldrazi everywhere, stomping everywhere. The only thing you'd have to be flexible on is we need to allow for the wastes lands out of battle for Zendikar if we go for a different set but Emrakul yeah. because that would be just hilarious Emrakul is brilliant and I love the card but uh, explain to us what Emrakul actually is <laughs> uh, you know what I'm going to make I'm, gonna, I, I'm just going to bring it up on the screen go on better uh, show everybody em, em, Emrakul the promised Aeon, oh no 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 the Aeon's Torn the original one. Oh, you've gone for the original not even that's, that's the one that's banned that's, that's the banned one the other one's still legal ah um, but we're talking about totally different Emrakuls then. Yeah, Promise yeah, then. On. <laughs> Here we are. Hang on. After I a swift, after a swift Google search, just on the site on, on the right there. Um, yeah. So this spell can't be. It costs fifty mana to cast. I must be mental <laughs> to think about this. But well, fifty mana to cast. This spell can't be countered, which is already a like a horrible looking stuff. And it's any blue bay, any blue players looking at their hand just having a little tear in their eye. Yeah. Um, when this spell, when you cast this spell, take an extra turn. So it gives you an extra turn to boot. So that's like. So that's where they kind of used that with the promised end as well, wasn't it? He gave the extra turn yeah. as well. Yeah, you, but, but the bounce back was that they got an extra turn back anyway, so it didn't really, no one yeah. ever really lost a turn. You just, you, just <coughs> took two, you, you just took two turns in a row, then they took two turns in a row. That was as simple as it was. Um, it. Fl- the flying, there, yeah, it's a fly spaghetti monster. Protection from coloured spells. So what that basically meant was it, it, doesn't, it doesn't have indestructible built in, unlike uh, Kozilek or uh, Ulamog. Um, but Protection of colour spells, so even like, fair enough, fair enough, it can't be counters, the blue players were, were cacking themselves. But then you've got protection of colour spells, so, so like the black players couldn't just go murder, or just like, you'll just, just do any sort of kill spell, because it just goes, yeah. you can't touch this, do, 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 do. Um, <laughs> you can't burn it, you can't kill it, you can't, you can't counter burn it. it. You, can't, you can't do anything <laughs> with it, it was horrendous. And then... The, and then the, the bonus bit, Annihilator 6. There's a reason Wizards never reprinted I- Annihilator. Because it was busted. Annihilator, for those for the uninitiated, was whenever this creature attacked, the opponent that you're attacking must have um, had to sacrifice an amount of permanents equal to that number. So sacrificing six permanents. <laughs> so, yeah. Unless you have like an army of like one one like sprogling little elf type things. That's gonna hurt it anyway. Yeah. And then, and then there's other ways of like you could abuse it um, because if you, if you were to take an extra turn after that one, so you're gonna be attacking with it at least once. In commander, swift boot boots is a thing that costs that costs, that will just attach on the same turn it comes in, and you hit it twice in the space of in the space of one cast. <laughs> it's annihilator twelve, and you're hitting them for thirty damage total. It's fifteen, fifteen. Yeah. She's a chunky girl. That's it. 
get the, rid of 12 things, you're getting yeah. hit for 30. <laughs> and, then, and then as an extra insult to injury, you can't even mill it. Because as soon as it hits a graveyard from anywhere, if it ever does, it just goes back into the library. It's like, <laughs> bye, I'll see you later. Because I will yeah. be back. <laughs> So yeah, th- th- that that's why it was banned. <laughs> that's because it is just a disgusting card, and there are so many ways in Magic of like cheating it onto the battlefield. Like fair enough, when it says when you cast, you do have to spend the mana to cast it, or it, you don't have to if you've got the right things. But you you do you can't just put it and it works. But even then, there are cards that exist that are say are like a four drop, so cost four mana. Yeah, it would. And then the next uh, Quicksilver Amulet, that's what I'm thinking of. You can literally, you put it on the battlefield, you wait your turn, you wait the next turn, you pay four money, you, t- you tap it to activate it, and it just says, put a creature from your hand onto the battlefield. Just put it on, just <laughs> done. Just on the battlefield. You put that, put that. You don't care that you haven't cost, cast it 50 <laughs> mana. Because there it's is. Still, it, it's still going to come on the battlefield. It's still going to hit him, hit him for 15 on the next turn and then annihilate him for six as well. You don't need the extra turn because you basically yeah. bought it with four mana. <laughs> yeah, it's madness. It's the, the, or, or, Quicksilver Amulet, the only thing that sort of like stops on that card is when you cast a spell, take an extra turn. The rest is still legit because you can't cast a thing that you just put on the battlefield. Yeah. You can't counter, sorry. Yeah, it's uh, it's mad, and that's exactly the reason why we have ban hammers and rotations. <laughs> ban hammers, especially in Commander, because I, yeah. I've heard they, they, they've pre like the pre banned one of the new cards uh, out of fear that it's going to cause a horrendous. It's like, yeah, let's just ban it now before it gets crazy. Yeah, it kind of uh, it, it just makes you chuckle because um, it was. Uh, was it Ixalan where they'd literally mm. released uh, the, the, it was in standard in particular they just yeah. decided yeah we're going to slap the ban hammer down on about five cards before the set's even out <laughs> oh <laughs> no it was, yeah um, and then what was it uh, Kaladesh as well when, um, when yeah. they realised oh Christ what have we created and then it was like, <laughs> they, they, like half, halfway through like the first first season of it coming out was it the smugglers copter it's like yep this card is in every deck and it's really 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 powerful yep bam <laughs> 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 We've created this brand new mechanic. It's all about energy. We want you to invent stuff, do things. Ah, okay, we've created a monster here because everyone's <laughs> going infinite with a cat. <laughs> this is really cat combo. Whoever, whoever designed that would just think, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? That's infinite. <laughs> so, um, Ridiculous. yeah, so we've got that coming out. Um, but yeah, I... I mean, it's uh, it's great to have someone who is such a, a magic head to have a chat with us because uh, we cover a lot of different games at the shop and, uh, yes, and magic's do. the one that not many people tend to really dive into because they kind of see it as a, a bit of a, an overwhelming pit when you consider it's like 20-odd yes. years old now. Yeah, it's overwhelming pit is definitely part of it. Cause there, there, are some, there are some cards that people say now, it's like, oh, you just use this card, it'll be fine. And I'm just like, what card? And it's like, a, it's, like, it's like this really famous card that I've never heard of from like... Yeah, like 10 15 years back, and it's like, and, you, and then I actually look at it and read it and go, Have I not heard of this before? This is busted. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, it's uh, it's mad. As I say, just from me, like, I was out of the game for 15 years, then I came mm. back to it, and I was like, Wow, I can't believe how much this has changed. <laughs> yeah, it, it too fair, it's just, it's, just, it's the same with like Yu Gi Oh! and stuff because, like, I think the last time I played Yu Gi Oh! was like, oh, I must have been like in my very, very early, te- very early teens. And, and I just remembered, okay, you sacrifice this amount, this amount of monsters to summon this one because it's super powerful. Eh, makes sense. And then, and then something X, Y, Z, Synchro. What is this nonsense? I'm just like, <laughs> put it away. I don't like it. it was... That's it, yeah. I need to, uh, I need to find some of the Yu-Gi-Oh! A lot to do this with so they can actually talk me through it. <laughs> it's the one game I still don't understand. <laughs> no, I'm just like, people call, call People call magic complicated, but at least there's some sort of. At least I, I, I hear the power creeps really bad in, in Yu Gi, but I'm not going to di- digress into stuff I don't know too much. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, that's that, yeah, that's magic, <laughs> I guess. Oh. Uh, the big question is, though, are you missing the place as much as we are? <laughs> oh, so much. It's like I've literally been inside these walls for. This will be. This is week number four. This is like the fourth week I've been inside these walls, and apart from going outside to the shops and stuff, I, 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 I 
but I'm very much an introvert. Let's put this straight out there. I am very much a person that likes to stay inside the house at most costs. But still, I like to go places to at least try and exert myself. Like I do go to the gym. I I go to work. It's like I go to like um like I go in into town. I have a few pints with friends. I do like to go outside every now and again. But even even my introversion has its limits. Uh, I got staying in for this long is a bit sort of. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's, it's nice. Yeah. To play. It's great to play stuff online and sort of keep up with everybody, but mm. it doesn't quite feel the same as when you're not actually sat across the table from someone looking at the salt in their eyes when you're playing <laughs> a game with them. <laughs> oh, no, that, that may, it, it, uh, when you play when you're playing Blood Bowl with my lot, you, can, you, you don't you don't just have to have to see it; you can hear it. You, see it, <laughs> you can hear it just in the tone of their voice, and it's like. Whew. Um, so yeah, I will I will give you a link to um, post into the thing. It's like I've got a uh, Twitch channel as well, which I stream all the games that I managed to watch on anyway, and you can just hear people just creasing. And I do I think I set it to record every stream that I do, so I think they're available for like a month after, yeah. and then and they just self delete. Um, but no, there's loads of stuff, um, loads of stuff on there. I'll give you a link to the Twitch channel as well. Always looking for followers. Well done. Absolutely, um, it's always good to see uh, different communities forming and growing. Yeah, um, and then you just see, see that you can watch us play, and then you get, again, yeah, I'm completely open to people just getting involved because it's just it's just hilarious. It's a hilarious game. Absolutely, um, it's one of those games that you can't really learn to play blood ball until you actually play blood ball. Blood, bleh, blood ball, yes. and then you really get into it. Then you kind of get the idea mm. of what it does. But yeah, and and, and then you start, and then you start. I said, okay, or you, you can either do it two way around. You two ways around. You can either get involved in a shop, which it's you play it on the bit board and you, you so you do it that way, or you can do what I did and play it on the PC first. Get really involved in the PC, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to delve into the tabletop. Then you end up with three teams that are half painted. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm yep, I've if, got a, I've got an undead team at the minute that I need to actually get painted up and do at some point. So I'm I'm half I'm I'm still waiting on a delivery of paints um, to like for my rail. Don't know if you can see that with the light, but r- the campus blood the blood health blood bowl team. Um, hang on, I'm going to bring the sh- sh- there we go. It's probably a bit better. There we are. That is the colours. So nice pink, bright blues. Just wait for some shading just to get them sorted out, get the skin tone sorted nice. out. Well, they're, they're going, to, they're going to be very, 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 very camp. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I've got all the ones here. Yeah, LB, LGBT elves. Um, but I've got all the ones as well. I've got an orc team, um, and I've got a uh, chaos team as well. But Again, as everything has been recently, I was meant to be a um at a Blood Bowl tournament on my first. Ever, it was going to be my first ever Blood Bowl tournament, but it got ronered. <laughs> it like got corona. everything else. <laughs> it got ronered hard. It was gutting. Yeah. A bit. It's uh, it's certainly putting the uh, the kibosh on a lot of things at the minute. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but when it Mad. does kick up again, like at least I can just go straight back into it. But it's That's just it. As you, as you say, the the beauty of it being on the PC as well is that people can play it on there, get used to it, and then actually just literally come to you or come to us and go fancy a game. We'll go, yeah, I'll whack the table yeah. out. Let's go. Yeah, just literally. Well, at least with the PC version, you just click, load up, you're away. So like most people are at least in my uh, group of friends, we're always up for friendly games because there's always there's always someone there who's willing to teach you how to play the game as well because Blood Bowl itself can get confusing in terms of like how tackle zones work and like all the different abilities that are in it. Um, so, and then and then you discover the nuances that like whoever programmed the PC version actually got it slightly wrong <laughs> and, and the tabletop version does the rule a little bit differently. Um but you can do so much, um, so much cool stuff. It's wonderful. And I get involved, Great. people. I, I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it. I'll give the, um, I'll give the commissioner a heads up. They might have an influx of <laughs> three people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thank you very much for taking the time to chat to me, Dan. Chin chin. Yeah, thank uh, you. I'm going to finish off my last little neck of brew. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Oh, you forgot to ask what, um, what my tea was. I went for the uh, tea they Earl Grey hot. I didn't. I've got a cheeky bit of Yorkshire going on today. You've got an Earl Grey going on. I've got an Earl Grey. I, I, I went to go full Jean-Luc Picard. There's nothing wrong with that. You do it. 
there's no other better person to copy. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I'm glad you're staying safe, mate, and uh, have a, enjoy the rest of your, well, enjoy your week that you are now not having to go to work, but also stuck inside. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be uh, fair, my, my days off usually involve me sitting in this chair anyway. So <laughs> that's it. So you just get to spend a week with that chair, having a nice well, time? When, yeah, I spent three weeks with this bloody chair. I mean... <laughs> I've been, te- I've been like, like, my job has just been like teaching like the people, the new people that come into the business, but I've had to do it all virtually over Zoom, weirdly enough. So <laughs> this is how I know so much. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you ever, if you ever need, need, need me back to talk about anything, by all means, give me a shout and we'll uh, have a natter. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan to me, matey. Well, you, you carry on uh, keeping safe and uh, I'll definitely speak to you again oh, soon. Sorry. Absolutely. See you later, Dan. (laughs) See you in a bit. Cheers, matey. Bye. Bye.